So today's date are three, and the problem is to find, uh, given a string, whether it's a, it is a valid sequence from root to leaf path. So let's take one example, then it will be clear. Let's say you are given this binary tree. You are given a binary tree always. So it will have just two childs, left and right. And what is a valid uh, root to leaf path? Let's take this path. 0, 1, 0, 1 and we have reached the leaf and this is the uh, string that you will be given so you are given a tree you are also given a string you have to just return whether it's valid or not and valid path means you have to go from root all the way up to leaf so it may be possible that you are given 0 1 1 that's it like this case 0 1 1 so you will see yes root is 0 so it's fine I go to next index, it's 1. I see whether left or right of root is 1 or not. Right is not 1, but left is 1. So I come here and still it's valid. Then I go to next index. I see that next value is 1. So I see whether left or right of this is 1 or not. Yes, it's 1. So I come here. And then we reach the end. So we will conclude that we have traversed the entire array and we did not find any violation we always found some node which satisfied it so we don't have to return true here but we have to return false one additional check is required here that it's not only valid path but it's a valid path from root to leaf so this is not a leaf it has two children even if it has one children it's not a leaf so first check is that this uh, while traversing this array, path array, it should not violate at any point of time. You should have at least one solution, whether in the left subtree or right subtree. And the second case is that once you reach the end of this and it matches with a node of the tree, so there should always be a node which will match a given value. When you are here, it will match the root. First index, it should match the root. Second index, it should match one of the children of root. Third index, uh, it should be a node at third level of the tree and so on. So if this has five numbers, then this should have a corresponding node at fifth level and that node should be leaf. So this case is true because we reach till leaf and we also reach till end. So one to one. Here, let's see this example, 0, yes, 0, root is 0, then we have a 0, so one of the nodes at first level should be 0, yes, we have, still valid, then we have 1, so one of the node, one of the children of this, not just any node, but in this branch only, so one of the children of this 0 should be 1, it's not, so it's violated here, so we return false. So all three are due to different region. There can be, let's take some more example. Let's say we have five, then four, then two, then one, and six. And we are given just five. So again, same thing. We match with root, yes. Then we have reached the end. So we check if this is leaf or not. Clearly this is not leaf. We did not find any mismatch in the value, but we found that when we have traversed this list, uh, we have not yet reached a leaf node. So we return false. And we check in left or right both. So here we will be given a function is valid sequence. You are given a root, pointer to root of the tree and you are given a list. So what things we need to check? If root is null, that is root is not there then we return its size should be zero uh, so if array has some elements and tree is empty that is there is no node then clearly it's false if tree is empty that is there is no node root is pointing to null and you are given an empty list then also you have to return true this is the base case Otherwise, uh, we need to 
check the sequence in both left and right. Maybe it's not in the left, but in right there is a sequence. So uh, we will check. Uh, one condition would be that if so, we need a helper function here, which where we will pass one index. So let's call it DFS, since we will be doing DFS kind of approach here. We do DFS till we find one violation or mismatch in a value or we reach the leaf node and this error is not finished yet. And we return back to the calling function and we look for other possibilities. So this approach is called depth, depth first search or DFS. So let's call it DFS. We will pass root array and also one index. So what we will check if array index that is uh, the value in the array at this index is not equal to value of root. That means there is a mismatch so we return false. If this is not a case that means current uh, element matches with the current node then we check if idx is array dot size minus one if it starts from zero that means it is the last number in this array then we check if root is leaf or not so in this case we will check if this is leaf or not if it's leaf we return true else false now what is the next condition if uh, this value is also satisfied and it's not a it's not the last number in the list then it will be some middle number in the list for example 1011 then we may be here like 0 or 1 somewhere in the middle then what we need to ch check that uh, the current node should not be leaf first because we are we have not reached the end so it should not be a leaf so it should have either left or right child what child we don't don't know so we will check it can have both but at least one child should be there so we will check if it has a left child we will call this function recursively on the left child and we will increment the index by one so that we look for all the indices beyond this in the left child the same function and if if it has a right child we will check the same thing uh, in the right child we will pass the root dot right then same list and index we will increment by one so that it looks from next index onwards till the end so if any of these branches it finds a valid path and valid path will be when we reach the end of list and also a leaf node then we will return true so let's write the code for this it should be very simple so these are the three examples that you showed that i showed in the presentation and it also says that uh, we, we can use depth first search approach so let's begin so if not root that is root is null then return otherwise we will write a helper function we will call it is valid and tree node star root vector of int and one index and here we will check if root val not equal to error idx return false and here we will call this is valid root ar and we start from 0 the first element of this list now if uh, root value is not equal to arr idx then we return false there is a mismatch if that is not the case let's look at other case if idx equal to arr dot size minus one that is this is the last uh, number of this list then we have to check that this node should also be 
uh, a leaf node. If there was a mismatch, we would have returned. That means we have a match. Only thing now we need to make sure is that this node should be leaf. Left is null. I have added not here. And not root right. If any of these conditions are false, that is, it has a left child or a right child or both, then this condition will be false and it will return false. Now, what is the next condition? We did not find a mismatch and also this index is not the last index. That means this index is somewhere in the middle and our value matches with a node. Then we will make sure that, uh, then that means that this uh, root has some child, at least left or right. We will, we will make sure that there is a valid path either in the left or right subtree. That's all. So return we will add two conditions. First is that left is there not left, root left and is valid root left arr idx plus 1 or So if any of these conditions return true, we will return true. If any of these return false, we will return false. And we are done. So let's try it. Uh, some spelling mistake. And it uh, works for this condition. Let's add the other ones. 001 and 011. The tree will remain the same. And it gives a preview of the tree. Uh, 011 and 001. Both of these should be false. And our answer matches with expected true false false. So let's go ahead and submit. And the solution is accepted. So we will write the same thing in Java. So I have copied it and paste it. If root equal to null, return array dot length equal to zero and then this And let's try it. A bool, it should be boolean. And it works in Java as well. So let's go ahead and submit. 
and it uh, the solution is accepted in Java as well. So let's finally submit it in Python 3. So let's see if it compiles compiles or not. So we have some runtime error. Is valid is not defined. Now it works and gives the correct answer. So let's go ahead and submit. And our problem is accepted, our solution is accepted in Python as well. So I hope uh, you enjoyed this 30 day of lead coding challenge. Uh, every day was a challenge in itself and it was fun.